Hello everyone and welcome back to Algebra 1. We are continuing with concept number 10, solving equations with variables on both sides. So this is something that we were introduced to yesterday, but like I said yesterday, it, this is something that we have been doing, but now it's all just put together. So let's get started. Please have your pencil and paper ready to take notes. Very well. Here we have a two, not a two-sided equation an equation with variables on both sides. So let's get to solving it. What is the first thing we're going to do? Oh, we have to get Q by itself. We have Q on both sides. So let's try to move everything over to one side so we can make it into a one-step equation. Let's see. Let's start with the Q. We have negative Q on this side and positive 2q on this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add q to both sides. Here it cancels out. We are left with negative 11 equals 3q. Why 3q if there's just a q? There's always an invisible one in front of a variable. Regardless of the variable that it is, it has an invisible one in front of it. If it's a negative Q, it has a negative one right in front of it, okay? It's just not a habit of writing it out. But just know that. So we're going to treat it as if it has a one in there. And we are left with 3Q plus 4. Next up, this is a two-step equation. We're going in the right direction. So... We are going to get rid of the 4 on this side and move it over here. What are we going to do? We're going to be subtracting 4 to both sides. So we get rid of the 4 over here. We are left with negative 15 equals 3q. We are on our very last step of one step equation. So. Um, we are going to get rid of the 3, so we are going to be dividing by 3. 3 cancels out here. 3 goes into 15 how many times? 5. And it's a negative. So our answer will be negative. So negative 5 equals Q. Does that make sense? Now that we figured out that Q equals negative 5, let's plug in that value and see if it works out. So we have negative 5. Okay, we just plug in the 5 where it already is. This Q already had a negative in front of it, so I'm going to put a negative right there as well. It does not count as the one that comes with the negative 5. So here what we're going to do is that we're going to multiply negative 1 times negative 5. We're multiplying a negative and a negative, so our answer will be positive. So we have 5 minus 11 equals What's 2 times negative 5? A positive and a negative equal a negative. So our answer will be negative 10 plus 4. What is 5 minus 11? We have a positive and a negative. We're going to subtract 5 from 11. That's going to leave us with 6. But our 6 is going to be negative because the negative is in front of the 11, and the 11 is the bigger number. So we are left with negative 6. Here we have a similar situation. We have negative 10 plus 4. We're going to be subtracting 4 from 10 because 10 is negative. And since 10 is our bigger number, our answer will be negative, And it is indeed negative 6. If you have any questions on that, please do not hesitate and ask. I'm here to help you guys. Let's move on to your assignment. Very well, you guys. Your assignment for today is these two problems. Now, you're going to be solving for the variable on this multi-step equation. Please write out all the steps that you take to break it down to a one-step equation to be able to solve for the variable. And after you have solved the value of our variable, I do need you to show your work and 
test it out, plug it in, and see if it works out. Please do so. You're going to turn in a total of four problems. I know it's two up here, but you're also going to be testing it out with the value of the variable. If you have any questions on that, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'm here to help you guys with whatever you need. I hope to be hearing back from everyone very, very soon, and I hope you all have a very wonderful day. Bye.